Honda shocks the EV industry with its first premium EV car in 2024. Well, well, you will not believe what Honda is planning out for us as the vehicle industry is grooming and upgrading all the companies are becoming better and better. Honda's always had a certain air about it in the automobile industry, and we all know that the quality of its vehicles is pretty unrivaled, isn't it? With the advent of the electric vehicle as a hot subject in the industry, Honda's taking steps to improve upon its current offerings and join the electric vehicle market. So hey everyone, we are glad to have you back on Tech Addicts, where today we'll be keeping an eye out for Honda's first ever premium EV car that'll be launched in 2024. Do you feel the excitement? Well, let's jump right into the video. Honda funded detailed research on electrification so that the company could better plan for the future. The corporation elaborated on its strategy to increase sales of electric vehicles from the present nil to 2 million per year by 2030. These estimates are based on the company's long-term business plan. The PowerPoint presentation ran for one hour and was crammed with monotonous number roundups, battery plans, and a vast number of home market electric vehicles that will never be seen by us and that Honda did not display. It was relatively routine material perfect for a business update. Towards the end of the presentation, Honda revealed that out of the 30 or so EVs it plans to manufacture by 2030, two will be sports cars. These revelations occurred as part of the business's long-term objective to become a leader in the EV market. The overhead image shows that these two cars driving by in the distance. Honda's been a little bit longer to disclose its objectives for electric vehicles when compared to the majority of other automakers' timelines for doing so. Toyota, a competitor that shares Honda's pessimism regarding electric vehicles, beat Honda to the punch with an ambitious new strategy. Toyota, even though it departed Formula One to pursue electrification after the 2021 season, but now, at long last, it is time for Honda to give a presentation regarding the structural synergies, platforms, and investments that they've been working on. The firm announced that by the year 2030, it plans to have deployed 30 new electric vehicles across the globe and would invest more than 8 trillion yen in research and development. In case you don't have the current exchange rates committed to memory, that would come out to roughly $63 billion if expressed in terms of the U.S. dollar. And for those who are still clamoring for excitement when they are behind the wheel, here's the bit that's perhaps the best. This strategy will include the production of two new global sports cars because Honda claims that it wants to continue giving fun, that's in all caps according to Honda, to its customers. This comes on top of the multitude of compact crossovers and if appearances are any indication, even a pickup truck. Honda made the announcement today that this change would occur in two stages. The first will take place from now till the end of 2025. It is quite evident that Honda is not in a position to begin manufacturing electric vehicles in large quantities at this time and does not have a sufficiently developed platform to do so. Even though it's adorable, the Honda E is the only vehicle of its kind that Honda plans to produce in that segment, and the company does not aim for it to be a production leader today. Honda's been slower to adapt to the production of electric vehicles than many of its competitors. Honda and its premium division Acura have yet to produce a successful electric vehicle. The Acura ZDX electric SUV will usher in a new era for the Japanese automaker. Acura's unveiled the Precision EV concept SUV, which demonstrates the brand's new design language and direction as it prepares to enter an electrified era beginning in 2024, with a Type S performance variant that demonstrates Acura's commitment to performance in the electrified era. The Type S badge has a long history in the United States, and the company will unveil a dynamically styled all-electric SUV in the same year as this concept. The ZDX is being developed in collaboration with General Motors and will use GM's flexible global EV platform powered by Ultium batteries. Honda and GM announced an EV collaboration in April 2020, with the Detroit automaker collaborating with Honda to develop two new EVs for the Japanese company, which will go on sale in North America by model year 2024. GM will also manufacture the vehicles. The company then stated that it will provide feedback to ensure that the platform used for the new EVs is designed to support the brand's driving character. Honda will also design the exterior and interior to be consistent with the rest of its lineup. However, this is only a temporary solution. Acura says it will launch additional EV models beginning in 2026 based on its own global E architecture. If the name sounds familiar, it was previously used by Acura on an odd-looking crossover produced between 2009 and 2013. That massive hatchback with a sloping roofline was the first car designed from the ground up in the Acura Design Studio in Los Angeles, which opened in 2007. The new ZDX is being developed in the same studio. 
Honda CEO Toshihiro Mibe outlined the company's vision for global electrified vehicle sales in April 2021 as part of Honda's strategy to achieve carbon neutrality for its products and corporate activities by 2050. This vision called for battery electric and fuel cell electric services to account for 100% of the company's North American sales by 2040, and this is a big step towards that big goal. The elegance, artistry, and harmonious form and function seen on luxury Italian power boats inspired the new Acura Precision Crafted Performance Design language on display. With a broad and athletic stance, the new concept also conveys the company's intense focus on performance. The Acura ZDX marks the beginning of an accelerated path towards electrification by the end of the decade, as well as the key role the Acura brand will play in the company's global goal of carbon neutrality by 2050. Acura will continue to focus on performance in the electrified era, and Type S will remain the pinnacle of this direction, said Emily Corker, AVP of Acura National Sales. The Precision EV concept is painted in double apex blue with a matte finish and features an illuminated Acura Diamond Pentagon grille, chicane daytime running lights, and new particle glitch lighting on the front and rear. The particle glitch design themes carried over to the SUV's 23-inch wheels. The interior is inspired by a Formula One race car cockpit with a low-slung driving position and a two-grip yoke-style steering wheel. There are two driving modes available, Instinctive Drive and Spiritual Lounge. With racing style digital displays and red ambient lighting, the former improves the connection between car and driver. The steering retracts in the spiritual lounge drive mode, while the cabin transforms into a warm and calming environment with soothing scents and underwater animated projections. The cabin's also outfitted with environmentally friendly materials such as marbled recycled plastic, recycled aluminum, and 100% biomass leather. FSC certified wood trim sourced from responsibly managed forests add a sense of warmth and connection to nature. Through the curved transparent display with haptic touch features, the Precision EV concept also previews the next generation of Acura, Human Machine Interface or HMI. The powertrain used by the Acura Precision EV concept has not been revealed, although reports suggest it will use General Motors' Ultium platform as part of a Honda-led partnership. Acura's first EV, dubbed the ZDX, is said to be sized similarly to the current RDX and to share many similarities with the upcoming Honda Prologue. Well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And as we come back to the topic, we want to let you know that the plans through the end of 2025 are now laid out. In the latter half of this decade, Honda is going to implement its e-architecture platform, and this platform will make use of all solid-state batteries, which Honda has been studying, and the company has placed an investment of $342 million into a demonstration production line. When that day comes, Honda is going to get serious about producing electric vehicles to meet its target of producing 2 million fully electric vehicles per year by the end of this decade. So that's it for today's video, and we'll be right back with more. So please comment and let us know if you'll consider buying the Honda EV or if you're looking for one from another company. We're signing off, but if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.